Hey guys, welcome back to Green Country Custom Baits. We're going to paint session for you today. Uh, got a custom order out of uh, Kentucky. Uh, thought we'd film this session. We're going to be doing a custom job known as the Zombie Sunfish on this crankbait. So uh, this particular pattern is going to involve some unique netting in order to get a uh, layering effect uh, to make this thing look like a decayed bait fish. Okay, for our uh, zombie bait fish pattern, uh, we're going to be using this netting. Uh, what I've got is a couple different layers of this uh, ribbon. Uh, I'm not sure of the name of this stuff, but double it up. Again, the more you use it, kind of the better effect you get, as in uh, most masking materials. We've got our base coat on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back with some uh, Laguna Blue with a little 4011 reducer. This is an Auto Air Laguna Blue. And we're gonna thin out 70-30. Doesn't have to be quite that much, but. Starting to get a little cooler temperatures and again, that paint's just a little bit thicker. Gonna reduce our pressure when you're thinning it to around 20. Quick heat set. We'll do one more coat. Okay, so the next step <clears throat> is we're going to get our little alligator clips. We've got that good and dried. And we're going to get our netting around this thing really tight. Got a little too much excess <clears throat> netting on this one. You just kind of roll that up. The big key to this particular effect is to get that netting tight against that body so that none of your paint gets up underneath it. And this netting is kind of old, but it'll produce, it will produce a really nice effect once we get it. So next up, we're gonna come back and we're gonna spray white straight through. Turn the pressure back up.
We'll do a little heat set on the distance. Doesn't have to be a lot. Uh, I just don't want that white moving around. Okay, so next we're going to come back with our um, bird umber. All right. Burnt umber. We also have a transparent yellow that we're going to do the bottom of the lure. Just the bottom half. And we're going to angle spray this from the back. bit on the front quick heat set Okay, you want to be careful when you're removing your netting. Just so that I need to make some smooth alligator clips for us painters. Just want to work that apart. Take your time so you don't peel anything. Make sure it's pretty well dried. And get a lift. Okay, so you see what kind of effect we get here. I'm going to go back with a little of that yellow on the belly. Fill that in a little bit. Okay, for the last step, we're going to uh, we're going to add our eyes, and you guys probably seen me do this a bunch of different times. These are going to be painted on eyes. Just going to use a, a small head, um, two different nails here, finishing nail, and not sure of the sizes. And we're going to use yellow as our choice of eye color. It's just an opaque yellow. If I got any in here, well, let's get a different box.
use our smaller nail at our center dot and Okay, so you guys let me know what you think. New custom pattern, I haven't done this one before. Um, at least not on YouTube. Played around with different things. Uh, again, gotta give uh, Janet Jekyll a little bit of credit on this. Obviously, she does tons of this layering. Uh, and I follow her channel as well, so. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Zombie Sunfish. Until next week, Green Country Custom Baits, signing out.